Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 29 for the year 2020, restructuring the Ministry of Cabinet Affairs as follows. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, followed by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Cabinet Affairs, His Majesty also issued Decree 30 for the year 2020, appointing His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa as Under Secretary of the Ministry of Cabinet Affairs. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at a Safriya Palace in the presence of his personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, member of the Board of Trustees of King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, led by Chairman Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. His Majesty stressed Bahrain's keenness on cooperation and cons on solidarity to consolidate the human fraternity in light of current difficult conditions facing human beings. <coughs> he noted that human cooperation presents uh, the only way to combat this global pandemic and contain its fallout, wishing all people in the world health, security and safety to overcome this critical phase. They all congratulated His Majesty the King on the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan. Wishing him many happy returns, good health and well-being. The Board of Trustees Chairman briefed His Majesty the King on Bahrain's participation in the Prayer for Humanity, which followed a call by the High Committee for Human Fraternity. His Majesty the King had expressed support to the interfaith prayers, which brought together religious scholars and prominent school or social and cultural personalities. He thanked the Board of Trustees Chairman and members, commending their good efforts to support the Center's mission and promote Bahrain's civilized and honorable image in the world. He lauded the Center's initiatives to cultivate the values of goodness, tolerance, coexistence and, and uh, peace, reiterating support to all global calls to harness solidarity and compassion between all human beings as the world grapples with the COVID-19 pandemic. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at a Safriya Palace in the presence of his personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry BCCI Chairman Samir Abdullah Nas, Nas and Bahrain Businessmen's Association Chairman Khalid Rashid Al Zayani. His Majesty the King hailed BCCI's commending its role in revitalizing the trade and industrial sectors. He lauded the BCCI led efforts to combat the novel coronavirus COVID-19 and mitigated the pandemic fallout, being an active partner in national development and a pivotal representative of the private sector. He also commended the activities and events held by the Bahrain Businessmen Association in support of the trading sector. He congratulated His Majesty the King on the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan, praying to Allah the, Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King and the loyal people of Bahrain and lift the pandemic off the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty the King discussed with them key issues related to the private sector to continue programs and activities in all sectors in light of the current circumstances resulting from the pandemic outbreak. He commended the businessmen's efforts to spur economic growth, support investments and consolidate Bahrain's standing as an outstanding regional and international business hub, backing the trading and economic communities as well as the chamber to continue their vital contribution to national development. His Majesty the King stressed the importance of harnessing efforts to preserve national gains and double work to overcome the repercussions of the current stage in a way that supports and enhances the national economy. He expressed uh, confidence in Bahrain's ability to overcome this phase thanks to the efforts and assistance of loyal citizens and patriotic competencies and to move towards the future with determination and steadfastness to pursue a development monumentum for a better future for coming generations. The BCCI chairman expressed his deepest thanks on behalf 
behalf of the trading community to His Majesty the King, hailing the royal directives and keenness on the trading and economic sectors in Bahrain. He praised royal support to the chamber and the private sector, pledging to spare no efforts to mitigate the pandemic fallout in cooperation with all competent or competent authorities. He underlined BCCI's long-standing support to the government's efforts to develop the national economy, spur growth and serve the interests of the private sector. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting held remotely following the session. The cabinet secretary general Dr. Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser made the following statement. The cabinet congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Eid Al Fitr. It also congratulated the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations on the occasion wishing them many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the content of His Majesty's speech on the occasion of the last 10 days of Ramadan which expressed appreciation for the frontliner in combating the pandemic. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government is exerting all its efforts to maintain the health and safety of citizens and residents and achieve the aspirations of His Majesty the King for life to return to its normal pace. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the governmental and parliamentarian cooperation on the occasion of the issuance of the Royal Order to adjourn the second session of the fifth legislative term, expressing thanks and appreciation to the Shura and Representatives Councils for their construct cooperation which increased national achievements. His Royal Highness followed up on the procedures taken by the Ministry of Housing to implement His Royal Highness's directives on fulfilling housing applications for the residents of Ali by including them in the Ramli housing projects and allocating a bigger share to the residents of Ali and the adjacent villages. His Royal Highness directed to expedite the payment of salaries for government employees and retirees before Eid al-Fitr and directed the Ministry of Finance and National Economy to pay them on May 21st to allow employees and retirees to fulfill the needs and commitments required by the occasion. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution specifying the regulations and uh, conciliation procedures for crimes related to violating the provisions of the Commercial Registry Law. The draft resolution allows the violators prior to referring him to a criminal trial to request the competent department to reconcile the violations stipulated in the above-mentioned law. And the reconciliation is to pay a sum of 1,000 Bahraini dinars and the amount of, uh, multiplied by the municipality of violation according to the controls and conditions set forth in the aforementioned draft resolution. The Cabinet approved a draft decree ratifying the agreement on forming a joint uh, committee of bilateral cooperation between the government of Bahrain and the government of Indonesia, singing, uh, signed in New York. The agreement aimed uh, to bolster bilateral friendship and cooperation between the two countries. The Cabinet also agreed to allow TTSJV Company, which has 68% foreign capital, to undertake service activities related to water transfer to serve the project of expansion of Bahrain Petroleum company Bobco Refinery. The Cabinet followed up on the memorandum of the Ministry of Health on its procedures in coordination with the Supreme Council for Health to shift to electronic systems and its processes and services using electronic systems and platforms by Im implementing the National Health System ISAHA. The Cabinet approved a proposal on the Ministry of Labor and Social Development's resolving of the issue of the delay of paying the salaries of security guards working at the Ministry of Education. The Cabinet approved a proposal submitted by the Representatives Council on restructuring or reconstructing Fardat uh, Qalali port and uh, supplying it with electricity and water in all main facilities. A proposal submitted by the Representatives Council to establish a service center at the 7th constituency in Muharraq was approved. The, uh, con uh, the councillors also approved a, a proposal submitted by the Representatives Council on Bahraini citizens' vendor locations and regulating them. The Cabinet approved a proposal on repatriating Bahraini citizens stranded in Iraq.
The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the STYS, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee and president of the Istijaba Coordination Execu Execution and Follow-up Committee at the STYS, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the committee's weekly meeting held remotely. The committee members, as well as the Minister of Education, Dr. Majd Naimi, the Minister of Health, Faiq Al Saleh, the President of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Riyad Hamza, and orthopedic and fracture consultant, Dr. Jamal Saleh participated in the meeting. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the efforts exerted by all governmental bodies in implementing developmental projects that contribute to the development of the kingdom. His Highness discussed a number of sporting projects that the committee aims to implement in cooperation with the public authorities concerned, whereby His Highness directed to, diver to, to devise a comprehensive plan to develop physical education in all schools. During the meeting, it was approved that the use of 67 gymnasiums of schools was to be expanded and utilized by various sports federations and clubs, including model sport halls with international standards. Where the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports would organize the use of lounges in direct coordination with the Ministry of Education. Sports medicine was also discussed during the meeting and a proposal was discussed to build a specialized sports hospital in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the aspirations of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, national security advisor and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and President of the Board of Directors of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, Zayed Zayani, visited the new project of Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center, whose foundation stone was laid by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in January to launch the project's construction work. The Minister was appraised of the project, affirming the commitment to eliminate all impediments and ensure the flow of work to complete the project according to schedule. Zayani expressed pleasure on the commencement of the strategic project which he stated will exhort other sectors that supply tourism needs to diversify resources or sources of income. The Ministry of Health said today the number of coronavirus COVID-19 cases reached 4,215 with 31 recovered and 383 registered new cases, 240 of which are from expatriate workers and 143 are contacts of active cases. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking shaking hands and close contact, moreover covering the nose and the mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible. Here's Yasmin Ibrahim with the latest business news. Thank you, Sarah. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News on Bahrain International with me, Yasmin Ibrahim. The Japanese economy minister said today that a considerable impact is emerging on the economy due to the spread of coronavirus as Japan plunged into recession in the first quarter. The 3.4% fall in growth domestic product for the first three months of 2020 follows a 6.4% decline during the last quarter of 2019, pushing Japan into a technical recession. The Japanese government has already announced a record one trillion US dollar package and the Bank of Japan expanded its measures for the second second straight month in April. The latest U.S. sanctions on Chinese tech giant Huawei threatens to devastate the company and escalate a feud with China that could disrupt technology co companies worldwide. Huawei Technologies is one of the biggest makers of smartphones and network equipment, but its $123 billion US dollar a year business is in jeopardy after Washington announced further restrictions on the use of American technology by foreign companies that make its chips.
China's Ministry of Commerce will take measures from three aspects to stabilize foreign trade after the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. He said that the first step is to help enterprises tide over the problems in capital shortage, decrease of orders and increasing risks in the industrial chain and supply chain. The minister also said that the government also helps foreign trade enterprises sell products originally made for exports in the domestic market. Domestic sales of the foreign trade enterprises increased 17 percent in April. China's total foreign trade dropped 4.9 percent in the first few four months this year. But trade with the Belt and Road countries grew and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations has become China's largest trade partner. Members of the Italian Hospitality Network held protests in several Italian cities due to concerns that restrictions brought in to tackle the new coronavirus will negatively affect their income. Restaurant managers and owners are worried that the safety measures they will have to adopt will not allow them to work properly and could result in financial losses for the businesses, as well as the income of their employees. Several activities are expected to reopen, but many worry that the safety measures required by the government are not going to help them recover from the losses suffered since they closed. And finally, before we conclude our business news for this evening, let's take a look at how stock markets around the world fared in daily trading. And that is it from the business desk. It's back to you, Sara. Thank you, Yasmin. When in our light news, in our light news today, these anthropologists are working on two human-built pits found in the neighborhood of Toltepec, just north of Mexico City. They were dug 15,000 years ago to trap mammoths, which became extinct about 10,000 years ago. Researchers from Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History, INAH, say the pits were found during excavations in 2019 on land that was to be used as a garbage dump. Those plans are now scraped as excavations continue at the site. These artificial traps for mammoths are thought to be the earliest ever recorded.